Hunt Palmer here for Bayou Bengals Insider and Louisiana Daily. South Carolina week here at the LSU Football Operations Center and certainly a different feel surrounding this entire place. LSU has not been preparing to play a football game after a loss since 2009. Remember in 2010 the only two losses were to Auburn and there was a bye week after that game and then to Arkansas which is the end of the regular season and obviously last year the only loss to Alabama in the BCS National Championship game. So if you go back to 2009 when LSU lost to Ole Miss came back home to play Arkansas. That's the last time this football program prepared to play a game after a loss. It's really hard to believe. So it's been a different feel around here. The players have been in a different mood. Les Miles in his uh, Monday press luncheon was in a little bit different spirit. He said he was sickened by the loss and that the entire football operations center was when they went down to Gainesville and simply did not play very well. The Tigers have not played very well for the majority of this football season and that's got to stop on Saturday night because South Carolina will certainly pose a lot of problems for LSU and obviously you know where it starts on the defensive end. LSU has struggled to block defensive ends all year long. They've struggled to protect Zach Mettenberger and Jadavian Clowney and Devin Taylor are the elite defensive ends in the SEC East. That's rivaled only by Barkevius Mingo and Sam Montgomery who play for these guys. They're tears on the edge. Clowney is second in the SEC in sacks, second in the SEC in tackles for loss and Taylor is obviously no slouch as well. Aaron Murray for Georgia found that out last week he was being harassed from start to finish so LSU's got to change some things obviously they played Florida last week who was last in the SEC in sacks they gave up four this week they play in Tiger Stadium against South Carolina they're the best team in the SEC at getting pressure on the quarterback and sacking the quarterback LSU's going to have to do some different things they're gonna to have to run screens draws use tight ends running backs to help these offensive tackles because no matter who LSU has put out there this year the tackles just haven't been great it looks like Alex Hurst is gonna be the left tackle he's gonna to have to deal with Jadavian Clowney on the right side probably Vidal Alexander he's the guy that got the lion's share of the reps against Florida He's going to have to deal with Taylor on the other side. LSU's going to have to do some different things offensively. Running the football against nine and ten man boxes just isn't going to work. Florida was able to shut down the LSU running game because quite frankly they don't think LSU can throw the football and LSU hasn't proven it can. Zach Mettenberger has been inaccurate. The wide receivers have run poor routes. They've dropped the football. They've fumbled the football. LSU simply cannot get anything going through the air and if they can't do that this week South Carolina is going to muzzle that LSU rushing attack, and it's going to be a very, very long night. South Carolina offensively is very good as well. Connor Shaw has really come into his own in Steve Spurrier's system. He does not make mistakes. He hits his receivers, Ace Sanders included, and they make some plays. And obviously Marcus Lattimore behind Connor Shaw is one of the best running backs in all of America. The Tiger defense was great in Gainesville until they were worn out. They're going to have to get some help from the LSU offense. An interesting note from Les Miles' Monday press luncheon, he – wanted fans to come out to this game and make Tiger Stadium as loud as it could be. Obviously he wants that every week, but he doesn't generally come out and say it. I think he realizes that this is a huge game for this season. This is a football team that's been focused on going to Miami and playing for a national championship all since January. And if they do not get it done this Saturday in Tiger Stadium, those dreams are dead and it's going to be tough to rein this football team in mentally. This is a huge game for the LSU football season and for the program moving forward because the the, the dreams are going to be derailed if this thing comes off the tracks this Saturday night in Tiger Stadium. That's when LSU and South Carolina will kick it off on ESPN. Followed by you, BengalsInsider.com and Louisiana Daily all week as we'll lead you up to a big-time showdown between LSU and South Carolina on Saturday night. For Louisiana Daily and by you, BengalsInsider.com, I'm Hunt Palmer.